Hey everybody, it's Emily the Crazy Worm Lady. I'm here today with the um, experiment to blend or not to blend. And I wanted to show you guys how it was coming along. And conveniently enough for me, I'm spotting the worms right away. But I can't remember if this was the whole scraps or the blended. But for some reason, I'm suspecting this was blended. Check that out. That is incredible. It's literally just a solid ball here, guys. So I'm going to leave those guys down there. This was frozen first, so frozen blended, I'm assuming, again. We'll find out soon enough. Nothing but skin left. Not even any worms. Or very few worms. They just picked that stuff clean. Same thing over here. I mean, they just picked that stuff clean. So, I mean... That speaks for itself as far as how well the blending worked. Um, I'm just going to turn some of this bedding up a little bit. It seemed a little bit damp in here, but uh, I think it's okay at the moment. Let's just see. I believe there was like some banana left over on this side last week. I'm thinking it's probably gone, but I thought I'd peek anyway. Yeah, I'm not seeing, not seeing much of anything over here at all. So let's poke into the other bin and then we will get these guys fed up. Okay guys, so here is what I'm thinking is the whole scrap bin. And as you can see, the worms are not really in a high density in any one area that you can see right away like you could with the other bin. And this is definitely whole scraps. This was the unfrozen apple and down here should be the frozen ah so again not quite as impressive as over in the blended but they're definitely able to get into this frozen apple quicker so that's very interesting so let me knock the rest of that stuff out of there because we'll use these again and we'll check make sure that there's nothing left over here for these guys And I'm really not seeing a whole lot of anything. So same deal. Um, it looks like they are working through it, but the blended scrap bin, I mean, is pretty much finished. And this bin still has got a ways to go. When I bust that open, you can see little mites and beetles are all working in there. So I will turn that flush side down. I'll do the same with the hole over here, hoping that um, the worms will finish up on this stuff since we're going to start feeding some more over on the other side. So let me get some food and we'll feed them. Found a cocoon in here. I wanted to show you real quick before I fed this bin up. Freshly laid to that lemon color indicates that so pretty cool they're happy in here okay guys so similar situation this week I have a whole um, unfrozen so fresh bell pepper here I busted a hole on the side and this was a frozen bell pepper which I loosened the top here so that there's a hole in that as well 
So I'm going to give a little sprinkling of our crushed eggshell. And I'm not being quite as scientific as some of the other experiments. Um, so I'm just going to give a little handful of dry bedding around each one of these. So it's just a little handful of each and I'm going to cover it back up. I left the dowel here to remind us that it was um, frozen down on this side here. And so I'm mounding this up a little bit more over here to make sure we have this completely covered. But I want to make sure that the apples stay covered as well. So I will um, cover this back up and let's do the blended bin real quickly. Okay, so I did a similar setup over here. This, where the dowel is, should be the frozen blended, and in my case it's more like finely chopped scraps here. And I am going to dump even the liquid from it because that's still part of it. A few other small little pieces here. And the other one I have is fresh blended same situation gonna put the liquid and everything in always seems like there's so much more when you um, freeze first it breaks down so much more these were almost identical sized peppers I just find that kind of funny okay so sprinkle our eggshell and get a little handful of bedding to put around each one of these And I'll cover this up and I'll be back next week for an update. Um, before I completely cover it, I'm going to make sure I clean this out real good into here. So drop your comments below, like this video, subscribe if you want some more content from me, and I'll be back with you guys next week for an update.